that's me arrived at the bottom of the Healy Pass. Let's go. It is absolutely incredible here. I just can't get over the fact there's no one else here. Like it's, I think this is possibly one of the most beautiful places I've seen in my, my whole life. And there's not anybody else. It's actually mad. Again, I keep saying this, but the views from this one pass are absolutely unreal.
was Healy Pass, possibly one of the most beautiful places I've been in my whole life. I own it. Uh, I could spend all day there. I must have spent one to two hours just taking photos and videos. Oh, and it was just like the perfect time of day at sunset. Couldn't have asked for any better weather. Could not have taken a bad photo there if I tried. It was unbelievable. Such a big smile on my face. <laughs> that just made the whole trip worth it for me. Okay, now I really need to get a move on. I need to get to the campsite. And I've uh, left myself a little bit short on time because I've been taking so many photos. But I'll get there. Onwards! Right, so that was the last petrol station stop of the day. I've got my dinner, which is a sandwich and crisps. Yay, another one. Been living out of petrol stations pretty much for the last week, so yeah, that's good. Just another 46 minutes to the campsite. Almost there. <laughs> I'm about one minute away from the campsite and I just wanted to show you the view of where I'm staying tonight. The sands are white and the waters are blue. It looks incredible. I can't wait to see it tomorrow morning. Uh, this is gonna be my wee home for the evening. A lovely little campsite. I'm just gonna pitch the tent right here. Just got to unpack the bike, go for a shower, and then pass out. See what tomorrow brings. I wish I filmed a bit more of that Ring of Kerry. It's actually an amazing road, and well worth a trip. It's been a long day, a lot of driving. So, but tomorrow I'll feel rejuvenated and ready to go again. Uh, I think there's maybe another mountain pass tomorrow, so I'm quite excited for that. But again, I'll need to look at my maps and see what I'm doing. Everything's planned out, but I've no idea what order I'm doing anything in. Hello and welcome to day five, I think. I feel I might have slightly overdone it yesterday. I've just woken up and I feel 
absolutely exhausted and a little bit dizzy, which is not good. So I'm going to take it easy this morning, and when I find somewhere to stop, I'm going to take a, a breather, have some food, fill myself up with water, and then just have a sort of slow morning until I feel more normal again. 6 or 8 or 7 o'clock in the morning, and the weather is still fantastic, so can't complain about that. I cannot wait to get back on the bike. So the plan today is to quickly pop past this white sand beach down the down the road, get a drone shot there, go to the petrol station, get some food, get some water. Hopefully, I'll feel better after that. And then uh, I've got a feeling it's another mountain pass on today, so that's good. <laughs> right, I need to sort out this bike. Let's try and not wake up too many people in the campsite. I don't think it's that loud. Last me arrived at the beach. It's called Derry Derry Nairn Derry Nairn Beach, southwest coast of Ireland. Let's get the drone up. This beach, is, this beach is incredible. I'm used to beaches just covered in rocks and dirty sand and seaweed. It looks tropical, but I can assure you the water is definitely not. I just need to get up a little bit higher. So I've got a good signal from my drone as the connection is not the best and it seems to like getting lost. across a slight problem 
which I knew was going to happen. I'm down to my last drone battery. They're not holding charge. Well, it's been four days since I charged them and they're about 75% battery now. And I've only got one left, which will give me about 10 minutes. I knew at some point I'd have to either get like a, a hotel or a B&B. &B. So tonight might be the night for that. So, so I can charge up my camera and my drone again. I've got enough battery in my big battery bank to keep charging my GoPro, my phone, my helmet microphone. So that's all fine. But I don't have a like a wall a wall socket for the, the drone and the camera. So not the biggest problem in the world. And I wouldn't mind a proper bed. That'd be nice. So we'll see. spend on the road the more I just stop caring about anything like as far as what other people think anything like that I'm almost becoming fettel I'm dirty I'm tired I look like crap but I'm having one of the best times of my life so next on the list is Balagashin so I'll be driving through there and heading towards the Gap of Dunlow. So I've driven around half the Ring of Kerry. Fantastic driving road. Absolutely worth coming to Ireland to drive around that if, you, if that's what you're into. Gonna get back on the bike. I've given myself an extra 15 minutes just to relax and chill out. One petrol station after the other. This is the way.